Tyg here again. In this video, I'm responding to a subscriber request on the channel for a review of AI Humanizer 2.76, also known as Clever Spinner. This subscriber requested it twice and it's getting impatient, so here it is. In the video, we'll be using it to rewrite an essay, checking how this performs against the Turnitin and Originality AI detectors, and evaluating the quality of the writing it produces. But first, I thought I'd share a little story with you. If you search Turnitin AI detector on YouTube, one of the top results is for this video. How to bypass AI detection, even Turnitin. Shocked emoji. It has 120,000 views and is a sponsored video with affiliate links for Bypass GPT that the old grandad behind the video is making money from. I got in touch with this old grandad to ask them why they were saying the Bypass GPT humanizer could evade Turnitin because they don't have access to Turnitin. He sent me a screenshot from the Bypass GPT website that showed they could bypass Turnitin. He even included a big red arrow in case I was too stupid to spot the Turnitin logo. I replied with a link to my review of Bypass GPT, which showed that not only could it not bypass Turnitin, it was essentially a scam targeted directly at desperate students. He called me a disgruntled educator and YouTuber and told me to take it up with Bypass AI and grow up. Dang. He's being paid by Bypass GPT to promote this useless humanizer, and he's not even getting their name right. I was only bringing it to his attention because it's a top search result with a misleading title that might result in students wasting their time and money. It's just unethical in my opinion. Anyway, the title of the video hasn't been changed, so students out there, watch out for misinformation and scams like this channel that aren't able or qualified to comment on anything related to AI in higher education. And that's the reason I started this channel. I am qualified to say what tools are useful to students. I am qualified to say which are high quality and which are a waste of money. I never have and never will have affiliate links under my videos. I will never do paid promotions. You can trust this channel for advice and to answer any questions you have. I want to support all students and educators out there navigating this confusing AI landscape and provide factual, transparent, authoritative and unbiased information. If you want to support me, all you have to do is like the video to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Share this or any other video on the channel with someone who you think it could help. And subscribe to help this little channel grow. With your help, maybe a trustworthy video about AI detection could get 120,000 views and not a pack of paid for lies. Anyway, that's the end of my story. If you have your own horror stories about being misled by misinformation, about AI tools or humanizers, let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you. Now, on with the show. The first thing that we're going to do is create a 1,500 word essay using DeepSeek. This is going to be about how YouTube channels are misleading students about AI humanizers in order to profit. How did I ever come up with such an original idea? Look at DeepSeek go. Clever Spinner are very generous by giving us an unlimited three-day trial, though we have to enter payment information for the trial to begin. We paste the DeepSeek essay into the Clever Spinner humanizer, and we're going to use the default settings the first time round. This will make sure that the output is more fluent or readable. We'll paste the humanized essay into this document here. Because we've got unlimited use, we're going to humanize the DeepSeek essay again with other settings. Let's go more humanized this time, with improved grammar and improved fluency. Clever Spinner processes this text and says, 0.56% of it is likely written by AI with its in-house AI detector. We'll paste the text into this document here, and then we're ready to run all three of the essays through the Turnitin AI detector. For the DeepSeek essay, we get a score of 100% likely AI. That's every word in long form prose. So basically everything except the titles is flagged. For the Clever Spinner more fluent text, we get an AI score of 0%. So the text really does bypass AI detection. With the Clever Spinner more humanized text, we get another AI score of 0%. So on the surface, this tool is looking pretty good. We'll check whether it's actually readable and makes sense shortly. 
But first, we'll test these three essays with originality, a more powerful and accurate AI detector. With the originality light detector, the deep seek essay gets a 100% likely AI score. With the clever spinner more fluent text, we get a 100% likely original score. Wow, very impressive. Let's try again with the more sensitive turbo AI detector. And incredibly, we get another 100% likely original score. Now let's check the more humanized version of the essay. For this, we get a 100% likely original score with the light AI detector and a 99% likely original score with the turbo AI detector. But did it beat the originality AI detector with coherent and readable text? You can see that the first more fluent humanized essay starts another line quite a lot, sometimes breaking up words while it does so. There are different font sizes in the humanized essay. The writing is more or less satisfactory, though it looks bad and unprofessional on the page. Markers will expect students to make more of an effort with how they present their work. Let's take away as much of this weird formatting as possible and try it with originality. And yes, it gets a 100% original score with the turbo detector, so it passes that test. The same issues exist with the more humanized text, and there's some odd phrasing. The ethics of taking students for a ride. This is the ethical implications of misleading students in the original DeepSeek version. Let's try and fix up the text a little and get rid of as much of the horrible spacing as possible and try it with originality again. And yes, the result is similar, a 99% original score. In conclusion, Clever Spinner is an excellent humanizer. It's retained the meaning of the original text quite well, and the writing is mostly clear and good. You'll have to remove the awful formatting issues it includes, but it can beat AI detectors even after you add corrections. For educators, if you see a submission with horrible formatting, inconsistent spacing, and line breaks between words, this humanizer may have been used. For students who are looking to polish their work or remove traces of AI use, this tool costs only $9.90 a month, though you'll have to overlook the ugly looking website, which even has some typos. However, as a word of warning to students who might think that they can use this tool to submit an AI generated assignment, the Turnitin AI score is only one thing that markers will be looking for. If a submission does not seem authentic, you may be asked for drafts of your work, a description of how you conducted your research and writing, or even invited to an oral exam to test your understanding of module materials. If you made it to the end, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions about AI in higher education or suggestions for future videos. You know that I respond. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.